Well, good morning, dear friends. It's Wednesday morning, not a Tuesday morning. I do apologise, the weather was so bad yesterday and everything seemed to come together. I don't know, I didn't have an opportunity of sharing with you. So it's good to be with you, with you today and I pray you will know the Lord's blessing wherever you are. Well, the storms came and they look as if they've abated for a while anyway. I'm not sure what the forecast is, but apparently there's more storms on the corner. It made me think about the names that are given to storms. Uh, Aisha came and went. Jocelyn has come and gone. Apparently there are more um, storms on the way. Among the list of names are Kathleen, Lillian, uh, Minnie. The first um, name given to the storm season this year was Agnes. Well, it's, these seem such lovely names for storms, don't they? You can't have a more genteel name than Kathleen or Lillian or Minnie. I mean to say, why? Why? Well, apparently it is public nominations that um, formulate the list at the beginning of every season. Maybe think about the storms of life. We can't look around the world at the moment without realising that there are storms raging. There are wars and rumours of wars, and we see so much that has to do with evil and oppression and fear and need in our world. And where is it coming to? Where is it coming from? Well, the Bible is quite clear that it comes from man's rebelliousness against the will of God. The reality is, of course, is that we are called to love the Lord our God with all our heart and all our soul and all our mind and love our neighbour as we love ourselves. David, my neighbour, just went up there. No, I can see him. We, we've got to love our neighbour and we've got to be people who extend the hand of friendship and concern for others around us. And of course, the storms can come in our own lives as well. There can be times of illness, of uncertainty, of bereavement, and they can batter us and they can make us feel lost, and we long for the coming of a new day. The Bible is quite clear that there is a new day coming. The Bible says that judgment will come upon evil. And what did Jesus say? His kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven. What a wonderful example Jesus is when he says, love God and love your neighbour, but more than that, he challenged the religious authorities of his day who had caused so many storms in the lives of the poor people and those people who needed to hear the encouragement and the joy of God's love rather than the legalism and the condemnation that, that often came their way. In the world today, the church needs to be ever aware that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. We have a message in the church, dear friends, that helps calm the storms of life to know that we have a God who cares for us, to know that we have a God whose kingdom will come. And we are called to be peacemakers. Do you remember when Jesus was, uh, when the disciples of Jesus were in that little boat on Lake Tiberias and the storm was raging and they really felt as if the time had come for them. And then Jesus appeared and calmed the storm. You'll do that in your life and mine. And I pray that you will know that today, wherever you may be, whatever your situation. I love the hymn, the storm may roar around me, my heart may low be laid, but God is round about me. How can I be dismayed? May God bless you today, wherever you are. And may you know his peace and his love, the one who calms the storm. And whatever the name of the next storm that is to come, be it Kathleen, Lillian, Minnie or Agnes, well, the names of the storms will come and go. But he who calms the storm, his name is Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we do pray for peace in our world, whether, wherever there is oppression and fear today, where the storms of war and, uh, are raging, we pray that the balm of your peace will come. We pray for ourselves today. If we are going through difficult times, if we feel the storm is raging in our lives, help us to remember that Jesus comes and calms the storm. Help us to be sure of that. We give you the praise and glory, for in Jesus you have loved us and given yourself for us. And we honour and adore that name. Amen. God bless you, dear friends. I hope that you will have a good day, wherever you may be, and it's back to Tuesday next week. God bless.